Sort of whole wheat Irish bread. Hey guys, so in light of St. Patrick's Day being tomorrow, we are actually celebrating it today because we are currently in a season of not eating um, meaty things on Fridays except fish and stuff. So, plus I thought maybe you would love to have my sourdough whole wheat our soda recipe. Um, so I first started out grinding my wheat berries here. I did use a soft white wheat, but this recipe would definitely work well with a hard red wheat. And here I am, I just had like barely a cup of flour left there. Um, just kind of using it there. This recipe is a wet batter and kind of like the traditional one that I have always been used to making, even when I didn't make it sourdough, I just made like the traditional Irish soda bread. You have some that, some people actually make it into loaves, but I've never done that. I always used mine as a wet batter. So I thought that actually incorporating this into a sourdough would be so fun. Um, so there I am, just dishing that out, just measuring. I am gonna put the full recipe down in the uh, uh, below here. But um, yeah, typically, you know, an Irish soda bread, you know, it doesn't rise. You know, you don't need a rise time, but I did let mine rise for like three hours. And there's my beautiful flour there. I don't know if you know this or not, but I use flour pretty fast, so I don't freeze mine. But if you don't go through flour, freshly grown flour like I do, you can just keep it in the freezer and it'll stay fresh. There I am using my local raw honey. But like I'm saying, um, I definitely love having the wet batter. It's just so forgiving when you're cooking. So I'm just getting all the ingredients here. So basically it's like one and a half tablespoons of honey, one teaspoon of salt, four cups of whole wheat flour. Um, do an egg there. I do think you should beat it before you put it in there. And uh, one cup of sourdough starter. Now, um, when it comes to sourdough starter, I do think um, it does better if it's like a little, um, I want to say runny. Um, it's not thick there. And I, I, I've just found that my breads turn out much better with it. And it ferments better. The starter is just better. But um, I also believe that having a sourdough starter with using freshly ground wheat has it makes a big difference on your starter to begin with, giving it good quality, um, just a good quality flour, you know? You're just going to make better bread. So that's... A total of one and a half cups of buttermilk. Kind of had to make my own there. Um, but it started out with just a cup. And then I added in the last half cup there. Just getting it well incorporated. And yeah. So just mixing that up. I really enjoyed coming up with a new spin on such a traditional bread. Um, th this was definitely fun. So this, um, you're going to have to save this video. I won't be posting this free recipe again, simply because it's going to be in my book that I'm working on. Um, I'm going to be making another fermentation, wild fermentation book. And in the, that book, a lot of it will contain a lot of sourdough recipes. So this will be the only time I share this recipe. Um, so make sure you hit like, give me a good follow. If you're not following me already, tag people who use whole wheat too. Um, it's really hard to find recipes where you're just using whole wheat flour and people don't mix it. So um, I really hope for those people looking for that, I really hope you enjoy this and let me know what you think for sure. But there I am just spreading it out, just kind of making like a smooth top on there. Um, I did let mine ferment, um, just set out for like 
three hours, but you know, you don't need to. Um, and then I got it popped in the oven at 375 for about 45 to 55 minutes. And here I am just feeding my sourdough starter because it's very important. Anytime you use it, you need to feed it. Um, so just adding some of my freshly ground flour there and just making sure that consistency is really up to the par of how I feel like it works best, my starter. So don't forget to change out your jars every few days just to keep everything healthy in there. When it starts getting caked up really bad, you know, um, yeah, you, it might invite some unhealthy mold that we don't want. We don't want that stuff. So, and here I am just filling up my container here of fresh flour. Like I said, I go through my flour really fast with making fresh whole wheat bread for us. So, um, I really don't have a need to put mine in the freezer, but you definitely can. So, like I said, I really hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Um, we're getting ready to switch over to what it looks like here in just a minute. Um, this is tried doing a spin of the traditional Irish recipe with uh, corned beef and boiled cabbage. So it did rise a little bit before I put it in the oven, but not too much. If you left this overnight, it definitely would. But within three hours, I think it rose quite a bit. So, And that's what she looks like. That is my loaf of freshly ground sourdough whole wheat Irish soda bread take and I could not be happier that was my corned beef oh tip I cook my corned beef in the uh, cast iron pan and I highly recommend you do that make sure your cast iron pan is hot when you put it in and then put it in the oven and it makes it like the outside like kind of crispy and just delectable and here I am just cutting my bread I'm so happy like how it turned out my sourdough starter does very well, making it very aerated and just so bubbly, and it, it just looks nice. Um, I, I'm very, very happy with this recipe, and I'm so happy to share it with you. Um, as always, if you guys need me, um, my following is very low enough that, hey, I can actually get back to you, and I love hearing from you. So if you need help with this recipe or any other recipes in my book, please feel free to give me a uh, DM or an email at wildandartfullyme at gmail.com. And yeah. And just in case you didn't know, this bread does freeze really well. Um, it doesn't last in the freezer longer than two weeks because we eat it pretty good. But if you need to freeze some of your sourdough bread, please feel free to. And so this is how I'm eating my meal tonight. I will put the corned beef on like a sandwich. There's my cabbage. And it would not be a meal in this house without some fermented sauerkraut. It's definitely going to help the digestion there on that meat. So, all right, that's all I have for you. I hope you enjoy.